Thanks to Deborah and Tinez for hosting this event and for the opportunity to tell you a bit about the research that's going on in my lab. So I'm a freshwater ecologist and I look at the impacts of changing environments on fish communities. And I generally frame my work using three broad questions. The first is how do communities change both across spatial scales and over time? The second is what are the roles, the relative roles of species interactions and environmental factors in controlling fish communities? Thirdly, can we make general predictions across systems? So whether that's tropical or temperate systems, whether that's aquatic systems or terrestrial systems. And finally, I use these questions to approach this overarching question of how can a community ecology contribute to the conservation of aquatic ecosystems which are perhaps more threatened than terrestrial ecosystems, um, and the sustainable management of fisheries. So I use a variety of different systems. I look at several different factors, and mostly I've been concentrating on climate change, introduced invasive species, and the impacts of gold mining in South American streams. So I, most of my work focuses in two different regions. Um, across Ontario and the Great Lakes Basin, where we have about 180 species of fishes. And then in the Gu Guyana Shield, which is in northern South America, where there are about 1,200 species of fishes, and there's a lot of gold mining um, destroying habitat. And on this topic, I've just formed an M-cubed with Elaine Cattell from, from Civil and Environmental Engineering and Hernan Lopez Fernandez from EB. Um, in general, I work both in lakes and in streams, and I've just, I'm just starting some work in wetlands um, at the Shiawassee River National Wildlife Refuge, where they've done a marsh restoration, and this is um, a master's project that Catherine Rising and Paul Seelbach and I will be advising. I use a variety of different methods, so standardized field sampling. I also use specimens from natural history collections, like the UMMZ, the museum of zoology here, um, and a variety of survey databases. These are mostly collected across really large regional scales by different government agencies. And finally, I'm setting up a number of experiments, both here in the Dana building, and also I'm proposing an experiment to be done at the Saline Fisheries Research Station. This is a DNR facility where they have fish ponds that I can set up a competition and warming experiment that's pretty large for what we've um, tested in fish so far. And just a few courses. So in the winter semester, I teach the science and management of the Great Lakes with Paul Seelbach and Jen Reed from the Water Center. And then the ecology of fishes. Also in the winter, this is 400 level class. It has graduate and undergraduate students. Um, with Hernan Lopez Fernandez from EEB, this summer we'll be teaching a two-week field course at UMBS. This is part of their transforming learning program. And we're, we're focusing on Michigan fishes and changing environments. And then I'm also proposing for the future a C's course on field methods for understanding change in aquatic ecosystems. Thank you.